Uh, this day funeral for Queen Elizabeth II is scheduled to begin in less than two hours. You were looking live this morning as the soldiers, as the military, as there are so many wheels in motion right now as they prepare to say a final farewell to Britain's longest reigning monarch. She's been lying in state for four days at Westminster Hall. Overnight, the final group of mourners were able to say goodbye to the Queen, and now you're looking live inside Westminster Abbey right there as mourners continue to file in this morning. Just after 5.30 Eastern Time, in just about 30 minutes, members of the Queen's company will carry her coffin to the state gun carriage. And it will then take her coffin as part of a royal procession to Westminster Abbey. This is where the funeral will take place. Local 10's Nicole Perez, she joins us live from London with more. Nicole? And the hall officially closed to those mourners. Hundreds of thousands of people made their way to pay their respects to Queen Elizabeth II. It closed a couple of hours ago. So many people got a chance to file past her coffin. And as you mentioned, the funeral is not set to begin until 11 o'clock. But at 1044, by state gun carriage, the coffin will be carried from Westminster Hall, where everyone was filing past to pay their respects. And it'll go to the Abbey, which is right behind us. It'll be carried by 142 Navy sailors, as well as members of the royal family. They'll be walking close closely behind. I can tell you we got out here at about five o'clock this morning and the area that we are in was full of people already. Some people sleeping on the floor because it's been it's hours still to go before the start of the funeral. Everybody wants to just get a good spot all across London. That's what we've been seeing. Let's take you live now inside the Abbey. Uh, heads of state and dignitaries, they've been arriving. They were escorted into the Abbey at around eight o'clock our time. So they've been in there for a couple of hours. The Abbey can hold 2000 people. Remember, this is also where she was crowned and where she married Prince Philip. So it is a very special place to the royal family and now where the funeral will be held. A final farewell and a day of pomp and pageantry as Queen Elizabeth II is laid to rest. Her state funeral marking the end of a 12 day mourning period in the UK, marked by tributes along the way from all corners of the nation. Overnight, world leaders descending on London to honor her lifetime of service. President Biden paying his respects at Westminster Hall while the Queen lay in state. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden at his side. As I've told the King, she's going to be with him every step of the way, every minute, every moment. And that's a reassuring notion. So to all the people of England, all the people of the United Kingdom, our hearts go out to you. Also among those paying tribute, Ukraine's First Lady Olena Zelenska. In a touching scene, Queen Elizabeth's eight grandchildren holding vigil as the crowds passed. And I wasn't expecting to feel much emotion at all, but as I looked up, I, I felt myself welling up a bit. So yeah, it was, it was quite moving. As the queue winds down, roughly a million people expected to fill the streets of London to catch a glimpse of the Queen's funeral procession. Some camping out for days. I'm a huge history buff. The traditions have been in place in this country for hundreds and hundreds of years before before our U.S. was created. London bracing for the most challenging policing event in its history with extra military personnel, extra CCTV, sniffer dogs and police. The threats ranging from pickpockets to terror attacks. And we do continue to see a very large police presence out here for the start of the funeral. Back inside at the Abbey, we know President Biden is now arriving with the First Lady, Dr. Jill Biden, from the United States. They are the only two members that are here. Before, we were under the impression that they were going to be allowed to bring past presidents, but the invitation was extended just to them, too, because of how many people are coming to this funeral. The Abbey, again, can hold 2,000 people. 200 members of public life are also allowed to be inside the funeral. They were awarded honors, uh, so they are given this this amazing honor to be part of this funeral. Heads of state, prime ministers, presidents, European royals, and key figures from public life. They will all be part of this funeral that is getting set to start at 11 o'clock. So 1044 is when we'll see the coffin go from the hall to the abbey. There will be a two-minute moment of silence at the end of the service. The funeral starts here in London, but it'll end in Windsor. It's night. They announced who will be escorting her coffin inside. Do you know who that group is? 
Yes, Alexis. So again, it'll happen at 1044. It's, it's going to be on a state gun carriage escorted by 142 Navy sailors, but also the royal family. The king will be walking close behind. We'll also see his siblings, Prince Andrew, Edward, Princess Anne. We're also going to see Prince William and Prince Harry, but most notably, two of Prince William's children. We're going to see George and Charlotte escorting the coffin in a procession into the abbey. You, Nicole, that procession right now, dignitaries arriving, including President Biden and the First Lady, Dr. Jill Biden, arriving there at Westminster Abbey, being guided to their seats. So many dignitaries from all over the world there in London this morning to be a part of what will be a historic event. An event we'll bring to you live right here all throughout the day on Local 10, also on Local10.com. Our own Nicole Perez live this morning. Nicole, thank you. We will check in with you throughout the day. Ahead of that moment of silence, Queen Elizabeth II's coffin will be moved from Westminster Hall. The royal procession is scheduled to start at 544 this morning. Her, sca her, ca her coffin will arrive at Westminster Abbey shortly before the state funeral, which begins at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. And ABC News will bring you live coverage of all these events. Robin Roberts and David Muir will lead our coverage in a special report beginning at 530 this morning right here on Local 10.